Maybe what I was going um, I went to a meeting, a forum discussion, um, a few nights ago, and we, the, the topic was animal cruelty, um, in relations to animal enterprises that abuse and exploit animals for profit, and, um, one of the speakers there, um, opened the floor to questions, and I stood up and raised my hand, gave him my alias, my, not my real name, but my nickname, um, and asked him what is the opinion, his opinion, of the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act passed in 1997, and this, uh, the guest speaker was a law professor, and he was unaware of this act, and that made me think how many activists are unaware of it as well. Um, the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act is an attack on the right to free speech, the right to peacefully assemble, the right to protest, and the right to association. Um, and for that matter, it is an attack on privacy. And for anyone involved in animal rights activism, even if you protest out in front of a store, um, on the sidewalk in front of someone's house, um, if the government thinks you're doing too much activism, they can legally charge you as a domestic terrorist under the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act. And I'm going to read what this piece of legislation states and give you my three cents on it. This may be a two or even three part video series depending on um, how this goes. So let's get started, shall we? Section 1, short title, This Act May Be Cited as the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act. Note, I will post a link to this information below. Sec section 2, Inclusions of Economic Damage to Animal Enterprises and Threats of Death or Serious Bodily Injury to Associated Persons. A. In general, Section 43 of Title 18, United States Code is amended to read as follows. Section 43, Force of Violence and Threats Involving Animal Enterprise. Offense. Whoever travels in interstate or foreign commerce or uses or causes to be used the mail or any facility of interest of foreign commerce. 1. For the purpose of damaging or interfering with operations of an animal enterprise. And 2. In connection with such purpose. Extension A. Internationally or internally damages or causes a loss of any real or personal property including animals or records used by the animal by the animal enterprise or any real or personal property of a person or entity having a connection to relationship with or transaction with an animal enterprise meaning this the purpose of damaging or interfering with animal operations of an animal enterprise which means standing out in front of a KFC falls under this jurisdiction or testing in front of the mall against a first shot falls under this jurisdiction of this entitlement. Scary, isn't it? B. Intentionally places a person in a reasonable fear of, of death or serious, serious bodily injury to that person, a member of the immediate family, as defined in Section 115, of that person or a spouse or intimate partner of that person, by a course of conduct involving threats, acts of vandalism, property damage, criminal trespass, harassment, or intimidation, or conspires to attempt to do so. So even if you're planning to protest, not from the KFC, or if you're planning any type of action, just plan it, just even thinking about it, you can be charged um, in relation to the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act. By now, you should understand that this piece of legislation is a threat to civil rights, privacy rights, the right to peacefully assemble, the right to free speech, the right to free association. This bill is a total invasion. And they shall be punished as provided in, for in, in the subsection. And in that, I will tell you to go click up top to part two up top and please do because this is something every activist and organizer um, 
needs to know about and um, like I said before I will leave you guys a link down below to this piece of law I suggest you download it print it and make sure you have a copy of it just in case if there comes a on your door part two up top